All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you're watching this on YouTube, howdy, folks. Welcome to episode three. Day three of Daggerfall Unity. In all its glory. With the Dream mod and a bunch of other mods that I go over, I've already gone over in episode one, so check that out if you want the deets for that. They'll also be in the, they're also all listed in the description of uh, the episodes on YouTube as well, so you can just check that too. I haven't got any links for it because I'm lazy, but if you type any of those into Google, you'll you'll go you'll 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 be directed straight there. So no worries. It's mostly on the stuff from the, the official Daggerfall Unity forum and from the Nexus. Essentially, that's where I get the mods for this for from. This time you're not watching on YouTube, Cold Well, congratulations. Welcome to the live show. Please don't throw any tomatoes at me until the stream is over. What a natural afflictions will be obtained this stream. Anyone's guess, right? So previously, ladies and gentlemen, we continued the main quest. We went to find King Gothrod's crazy grandma in the Rothgarian Mountains. And we also, I think we met the King of Worms, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We met the King of Worms. We went to, met Mani Marco on behalf of uh, Princess Morgaya of, of Weyrest. And we also became a werewolf, which so far has been really cool because it, it's made us ridiculously overpowered. With the small caveat that occasionally we will involuntarily transform into a werewolf during a full moon, and we occasionally do have to murder innocent townsfolk um, in order to, you know, not die. So, yeah, swings and roundabouts, but a crazy grandma castle, yes, there it was. Shadungent, I believe, was the name of it. All right, okay, load. HD Chunkbird. Oh, yes, I remember that. That was a genuinely awesome drawing. Chunkbird, for those watching on YouTube, is this very amusing little mascot that I have for the stream. He appears on the starting soon and intermission screens. You may have seen him before. Um, Javanunu. Oh, yes, I forgot we're in Javanunu. Uh, and, and he appears occasionally on, on those screens. And he was basically a character from a Dominions 5 playthrough here on Twitch that somebody drew some, some fan art of. I think it was Deadbeat Eyes that did it. It was it was very amusing. Anyway, let's find a tavern. We need to rest. The pig and woodchuck right in front of us. If I can find the door. Hello, Darker Risen Knight. I would like a room for one day. Until fully healed. Right, now let's check our active quests. Speaking to the royal families of these fiefdoms. We've not been to Sentinel yet, actually. We've been to Dagfall. We've been to Wayrest. Although I don't think I don't know if I actually spoke to Queen Baron's No, I did, but she was very rude to me. I remember that. Um, but I haven't been to Sentinel yet. Um, ah, we haven't actually been back to to Daggerfall yet to report in on the Nulfago, the crazy grandma. Yet, so we should do that. We have 107 days to do it still, but we should do that. Uh, the Lycanthrope Hunter Barbusa Kingham has sent me a letter. Ah, yes, the, a, va a werewolf hunter sent me a letter vowing to murder me if I didn't get myself cured. Directed me to Gwinina 
Yomston at the Temple of Kinnereth, singing Sir of Kinnereth. I have 19 days before the hunt begins. I will, perhaps foolishly, put up with it. If we have anything else going on, the Archaeology Guild will probably contact us next time they have another job for us. So... I suppose we might as well head back to Daggerfall. Ship recklessly ends. Cost us 280 gold in 11 days. Squish Raptor. Why did you squish Box Raptor, Shadow Mark? Why would you do that? That's just mean. Both versions of Chunkbird belong in the Louvre. <laughs> Looking forward to this hunt. That's ominous. And Twitch chat's looking forward to something. It's usually bad news for me. <laughs> oh god, we've arrived in Daggerfall at night time. This, this won't end well. Where's the nearest inn? The Toad and Wolf! What a great name for an inn. The Toad and Wolf. There's a story. Why is it called the Toad and Wolf then? Well, good sir, pull up a seat and I shall tell you. The most peculiar tale. Oh god, I can hear the ghosts. Oh, Banana Copsford. Hello. You're not who I'm after, though. Yo! I require a room. Uh, uh, for a while. So six hours. I don't know what the time actually is, so. Oh, it's 3 30. Oh dear. Yeah, no, no, no. Another six hours. What do you mean by artifact hunting, Master Matt? Detective Eldar Sorcery, I like that. <laughs> right, to the palace. Way up the other end of town. This way. You feel the need to hunt the innocent popped up? Did it? I must have missed that completely. I mean, my health hasn't disappeared as far as I can tell, so... Health 41? Ooh. Am I supposed to have only 41 health? I feel like I'm not. All right, we'll, we'll hunt the innocent later. I think we're okay for now. I can't remember how much health I have normally. 41 seems a bit low. <laughs> I ride my horse straight into the into the castle. Smash through the door and leave a horse-shaped hole behind. The horse, yes, the horse in this game is, is ter terribly amusing, I agree. Doesn't it just drop you to four once you have the wear issues? Yeah, I think it does. That's what I remember from last time, anyway. Granted, it's been like a week since I last streamed this, so my memory gets a bit foggy between episodes, but... And Castle Daggerfall always takes ages to load for some reason. There we go. Do ye agree with these terms? I? 
No, he won't accept I, he'll only accept yes. Right, Queen Albkey. I confess I doubted I would never ever see you again. Your news that Nilfaga is still among the living does my heart much good. Here is your short shirt. We're oh yes, my reward was a shirt, I forgot. That's a magic shirt, admittedly, but it's just a shirt. I say, King Gothard, anything to say? No, not really. JB, thank you very much for 17 months of subbage. He'd actually let you sub again. Good. Uh, no, I would I would like to just leave, not access my wagon. I keep keeping an eye on my health now. You got me worried. There it is. You feel the need to hunt the innocent. In broad daylight? Not sure that's a great idea. What I need to find right now is a mage's guild. Madam! I require a mage's guild. Guilds? Uh, the mage's guild. I'd love to find the knights of uh, Mara as well, actually. I couldn't really care less, sorry. As if I know, ask someone else. What if I'm polite? Could transform into a werewolf and kill her. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Guild. Major's Guild. I ain't got time for this. Why don't you just kiss off, Tim? Uh, why are you all so awful? Southwest. Map. Thank you. It is... This is Dublin Kinnereth. Oh, it's all the way over there, is it? Very well. Southwest. Set sail, good ship. Dobbin. You gotta be blind to peasants. Well, it's, it's sometimes a bit unclear, like, who's, who's technically a peasant and who isn't. It seems utterly random at times. Sometimes I, I use the polite tone on peasants and it works, and sometimes I use the the blunt tone and it doesn't. It seems awfully arbitrary. I guess that is making me pass a streetwise check and I'm failing it repeatedly. I forgot we're a werewolf. We bark at the kitties. Even the cute ones. And I've gone way too far. What am I doing? I need to go north. I join a knightly order. Oh, yeah, I literally just said, actually, I'm, I'm, I want to find the Knights of Mara. Because I selected Mara as our deity of choice in the character creation. And I have a talisman of Mara. I forgot. Why does the Mages Guild get up so late? Fucking Mages lying in all the time. Bastards. Get a free house at max rank with Paladin Guilds? For all the bloody good of houses in this game. I suppose. Congratulations, gentlemen, Tim. The Council and Archmagister voted to award you with the new ranks today. Oh, hooray! I'm now... I don't know what rank I am. How do you... Affiliations. I am a journeyman now in the Mage's Guild. So I have way more rep with the Fighters Guild. I think apparently apparently the, the, uh, the, the rep for these two is like... This is a zero-sum game between these two. So the more Mage's Guild quests I do, the, the, the less the Fighters Guild will like me. So I need to kind of balance these two. Or just pick one, ultimately. But the Mage Guild have so many useful bloody services, you know. I need spells. I'm rolling in cash at the moment, so... Bellion is antidote. Do I... Ugh, I need to check what I actually have now, though. That's the thing, right? We've got Shock, Chameleon, Slow Falling, Bellina's Balm, 
buoyancy, recall, cure disease, water breathing, fireball, levitate, light, and lycanthropy. So, Belina's antidote would be good. Banish Daedra. No, too expensive. Well, I just can't cast it. It's like 498 Magicka. I don't have that. The horse stripes. I'm not sure why I'm surprised. <laughs> it's just a big stuffed horse uh, on wheels. That's what it is. On like, you know, shopping trolley wheels. And, and, and as he goes along, Tim just makes the clip-clop noise with a pair of coconuts. That's what he does. Charisma, eh? Chameleon, already have it. Cure disease? I think I already have that. Feet of Notorgo. Fenric's door jam. Yes, actually. Firestorm, fireball, force bolt, fortitude, free action, cure per yeah, that cures paralysis. That's really nice. But also, costed bajillion magicka. I will have it though. Frostbite. Yes. God's fire, a bit much. Heal. Holy Touch and Holy Word would be good, but gosh, yeah, they're expensive to cast. Invisibility. Sure. Jack of Trades fortifies luck. Huh? Lightning. Mage Light Inferno. Creates a soft light around the caster. How's that different from light? I think it's the same, just probably without the floating candle, so I suppose I'll take it. Orc strength. Recall, we've obviously already got. Shock, already got. You start a bloody game with that. Yeah, I do have levitate. I do. We made the horse fly in the last episode. I remember that much. Heal fatigue. I don't know if I already have that or not, but let's have it anyway. Just to, just to be sure. Tongues comprehend languages, eh? Interesting. What school is that, then? It doesn't bloody say. Troll's blood. Ooh, regenerate. Vampiric touch. Water walking. Already got that. And water walking can work a bit differently in this as well, can't it? I think. Like, it allows you to walk on water, but it allows you also to walk through water. Wizard's Fire. Single target at range, fire base. Sure. All right, that'll probably do us for now. How does that compare to Fireball? Area at range, ah, I see. Wizard's Fire is probably better against a single target than one would have to assume. Okie dokie. Interesting that water walking is cold based. That's kind of cool. So is that like implying that what the way you water walk is basically by turning the water under your feet into ice temporarily? That's kind of cool. 
Nice. Uh, what I need to find is the person that identifies stuff for you. Is it you? No, but you do do training. Train me in destruction, maybe? Yeah. Hello? You make spells now. I need someone who identifies magic items. Yo! And you're just some dude. Am I allowed to... Uh, still not allowed to access the bookshelves. Hello! Ah, you do it. In your tiny little room here. Right, identify this curious for me. And, uh... Yeah, shove both of them in there. Identify them both. What do we have? A short shirt of undeniable access, eh? <laughs> and leather tour goes curious. So what do these gaths do? You got potions, short shirt of undeniable access. I love that's a great name for a <laughs> shirt. What does it do? What does it do? Might empowers. Open! Ah! And the Welcome curious to gives you plus three to armor rating. And Caspian held Feet of Notorgo. I forget what that even does. Delashu! Thank you very much for the six man commando raid there. Appreciate it. You, 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 you could find bras of undeniable access here. Yeah. <laughs> and loincloths, I think, as well. Um. Who's the, who's the spell? You're the spells guy. What does Feet of Natorgo do? It fortifies your speed. Oh, okay. Well, let's equip the shirt. Oh, I'll unequip my robes, though? Oh, fi. Although, can I use it? I probably quick save in case this is considered to be a crime. Can I still use it even though I'm not wearing it? I think I can. I don't know, I guess just grab the shirt out of my bag and wave it at the target. I think, uh, I think that might be how it works. I don't actually have to wear it. It's not like in Morrowind. Okay, anyway. Right. I don't think you need to go over 100 speed. I think I think that is, that is as high as you can get it. In terms of running speed, you've got the running skill, but 100 speed's the best you can get, really, because you you don't need to be able to attack any faster than this. You feel the need to hunt the innocent as you swing your hammer around. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Well, I get we don't really have much else to do right now. I suppose we could make our way to Sentinel. That's the only lead we've got to follow right now, honestly. I'm going to try and find an NPC that's rude. Hello, my friend. Do you know... Right, right, regional. Regional. Any... Temple of Mara. Vale Castle. I don't know if I want... Do I want a Temple of Mara, though, or do I want... Because Knightly Orders and Temples are two separate things. Because we want it's got Knights of the Dragon, but I want the Knights of Mara. Regional. I can't ask for it about anything other than temples, apparently. Hello from snowy Orkney. Hello. From not so snowy Northamptonshire. Nah. 
How are you this day? Where's the bank? No, I don't have a clue. Don't have a clue. Got to be somewhere around here. Okay, he's he's being relatively polite. When you actually want a rude person, they're nowhere to be found. Good to see you, Tim. How can I help you? Where can you tell me where to find local temples? No. Really, only one temple in Daggerfall that surprises me. Mara? Only have one in Ripshire. Come on, where are the rude people? Stop being helpful! Why on Tamriel would I want you to know, Tim? Freaking Breton or is it right? I have found my victim at last. I have you now. Where is there it is? You get no response. <laughs> Don't even care that I've just transformed into a werewolf in front of them. They're all just like, yeah, so? What? You want a, what? What do you want? Like a medal? You're a werewolf. Like, who cares? Not even a halt, I know, right? Nobody cares that there's a werewolf running around in the street? Come on, we can do it. Actually, I think I can just use the door at the bottom there. You don't actually have to climb over this, but fuck it. Ow. Hello. I'm a werewolf. And nobody cares. I just turned into a werewolf and murdered a woman in the street, and nobody really gives a toss. I guess they never liked her anyway. Also, lag, loading, distant terrain, lag, arg, arg. There's a nice view there, actually. Oh, it tells you you have a room there when you enter the place. Okay, well, ugh, God, no, blah, 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 loading, loading. Maybe I should uninstall the. No, I like the distant terrain though. No, no, that's fine. Right. I guess. For... That's better. I guess... We're off to Sentinel. Health hasn't changed. But whatever. <sighs> Goodbye, miserable overcast Daggerfall. Hello, sunny Sentinel. I hope. Where will we find Sentinel is the question. I think it's... Yeah, Sentinel. Well, we want the city of Sentinel itself, which is... Can I find it without looking it up? Here's the question. There it is. We're watching you. You could go to the Molin Jin Tavern and actually walk the rest of the way to Sentinel, actually. That'd be kind of fun. So let's go buy a ship, wreck to sleep, buy inns, four days across the bay. Charlie Barley, thank you very much for that tier one sub. Welcome aboard. A young street urchin presses a letter into your hand as you attempt to question him. It becomes obvious that he is both deaf and mute. With a wave of frustration, you send him on his way. We're entering the Molen Gin Tavern. So welcome to the deserts of Hammerfell. Everybody. So what's this letter? Tim, the Dark Brotherhood has been watching you. You have slain without sanction several times. You must now join us or be counted as our foe. Travel to Akahanu in the Sentinel and see Fullen, who will give you further instructions. Hey, brother. Uh, 
See, part of me wants to join the Dark Brotherhood just to see what it's like, and part of me is like, no! Tim's a nice guy, he wouldn't join the Dark Brotherhood, he just kills random people because they're rude to him, and he's a werewolf, so he has to do it occasionally. The Crimson Barbarian, nice. Hello, child. Where are, where are the people in here? Ah, here we go. Nice, um, harpsichord organ thing? Need a room. Cure. What's the time? 6 a.m. Let's have a lion. There we go. Not a bad room, actually, this. How do I get out of here? <laughs> Why are these pointless rooms here? Why does any of this exist? How do I leave? Ooh, chest that I can't do anything with. God, there's it goes even further up. Just to here, okay. Is this game modded? Yes, it is. Quite significantly modded. The original Daggerfall on DOS was very pixelated and blurry, but this is Daggerfall Unity. This is Dagger there we go. It's Daggerfall running on the Unity engine with a bunch of mods for, for this version. Um, Alright. Camels! Welcome to the desert, <coughs> everyone, and I believe that is Sentinel just over there. I can see the big dome poking over the horizon. Kind of reminds me of a uh, medieval two turtle war. This whole little landscape here with a big square city, in the desert with all the with the with all the palm trees. This is like totally a medieval two turtle war map right now. You are entering Sentinel. And are experiencing some definite loading lag. Ugh. It's on an SSD. Uh, no. It isn't. I probably wouldn't have nearly as much loading lag if it was on an SSD, but... Unfortunately, the SSD like has very limited space in it and currently has games running on it that require an SSD, like Cyberpunk. I'm willing to put up with a bit, little bit of loading lag. Infidel, my sultan wants you dead. I'd like to play um, the Broken Crescent mod for Medieval 2 one of these days on the channel. That'd be really fun. It's like the Medieval 2 time frame, you know, still the Middle Ages, but it shifts the map east so that it's like centered on modern day Iran. So you get a lot of like um, the nomadic horsemen in the east and all of the different Muslim factions in the Middle East, as well as some Russian stuff in the north. Um, and the Byzantines and the Crusader States in the West. It's really good. It's a really, really good mod. And you have the Indian factions in the Far East as well. Like, you can play as, um, the various Rajas and Maharajas and stuff.
Hello, everybody. Lady Northbridge. Lord Vosek. Prince Lotun. Pretty too bad, Tim. I have a special assignment that requires someone I trust, such as yourself. However, you also need someone of greater skill in order to survive. Come back and visit me when you've improved your skills some more. Ah. Prince Lotun. I think you are probably the person I need to talk to. Oh, we've got Snake Charmer. Um, you are probably the person I need to talk to. But unfortunately, it sounds like I'm not high enough level yet. All those having business with Queen Akarithim pass through the door at the back of the hall on the right-hand side. Ooh. A little arboretum type thing here. Are we sure this is the right way? <laughs> I really don't feel like this is the right way, but okay. Oh no, it is! Okay, wow, it's really difficult to get to the Queen in this place. Um, hello chaps. Look, no judgement. It's nice work if you can get it, alright? Queen Akarithi, who has a really cool looking custom sprite, I see. And Prince Grecklith. If you have a couple of days to spare and wouldn't mind being 267 gold pieces richer, I have a mission requiring some speed and delicacy. Oh. All right, fine. I have a spy, Mukti in Sentinel, who needs a telescope to continue her surveillance activities. I am given to understand. She has found something of interest to a mutual friend of ours, which needs to be delivered as well. So here is the telescope. Take it to a young lady in green at a place called the Yerm House Residence in Sentinel, and there you will get further instructions. Good luck to you, Tim. All right. Take telescope to Green Lady Sprite in Yom House Residence. All right, Your Majesty, I'll get right on it. As soon as I remember which way is out of here. Yeah, we are in Sentinel. She literally wants me to go to a house in in this in this city with a telescope. Welcome to questing in Daggerfall, ladies and gentlemen. It's basically just take this thing and bring it to someone. Go to this dungeon and recover a thing. Horse! Ow. Horse! Let me just check something here. So, Belina's Balm. One to one plus two dash two. I don't understand how this, what this freaking means. One minus one plus two minus ten per two levels. What does that even? Target will heal one to one points of health plus two to, t ah, two, to, right, it's one, it's not minus, it's one to one plus two to ten per two levels. Right, now I understand. Thank, thank, the go thank goodness it has a plain English explanation under it. That's that's always good. Um, for every two levels of the caster until the dog's health is at a normal level. Right, so that's... It's more like... 3 to 11, then. 3 to 11 health it'll heal. Versus the one that's actually called heal. Which is more expensive to cast, but... That's more like 6 to 16. It's a bit more reliable, at least. 6 to 16 versus... Three to 11. Yeah. You can't get a camel as a mount, I'm afraid. I wish it was... I wish you could, but you can't. Am I going to hunt for Hercene's ring or just deal with the bloodlust, for instance? I don't know how to hunt for Hercene's ring, so at the moment, no. I don't want to know. That wasn't an invitation to tell me. All right. Don't. There we 
we go. I've healed myself now. Right. Uh, you're there, good sir. Tell me where the Yom House residence is. Go, go that way, just keep going north. On the map. It's literally just over there next to the castle. Wow, the queen's lazy. She has a lot of money and she's very lazy. Alright, which one of these is it? Oh, it's actually up this way. Alright, which one of these is the Yom House residence? I think it's this one. Here. There we go. You may enter! Hello! Ah, it's you. It's always the lady with the green dress with these quests. It's always her. Excellent timing, Tim. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mukti, and I believe that's my telescope you're carrying. Queen Akarithi, I believe, told you I, I would have a little job for you. Take this relic over to a well-to-do merchant in Sentinel. The name's Serp and you'll find him at the Coppercroft residence. Your gold will be waiting for you there as well. Be better better be on your way. He expects you there in eight days. Eight days to just go across the city, really. Okay, fine. Coppercroft residence, then. Let's play another round of Ask for Direction Simulator. To the west. Ah, it's just, it's again, it's just over there. Lazy bint. All right, fine. Yeah, I know that you can. I know that you can talk to the person in the Mages Guild if you're high enough rank to summon a Daedra and maybe maybe talk to them if they're feeling like it. Beyond that, I don't want to know. Which one's it going to be? There it is. You must be Tim. Mukti told me to expect you. I am Serp. Let me have a look at that relic. Very interesting indeed. Well, here is your 267 gold piece. You never saw me, got it? Saw who? Hello, madam. Hello, my friend. Mm -hmm. Talk to you later. Um, <clears throat> right. I guess that's that. I dare not copy its contents into this journal. What was it again? Ah, oh, the Dark Brotherhood, right. All right, we need to level up, basically. I think we need to pro talk to Prince Lotun, but he won't until we've leveled up, is the problem. We're currently level three. We're 66% 6 of the way to level four. Um, should we go find the local mages guild? What is this one over in front of us here? There's a guild building right here. What is it? Uh, it's a temple. Oh, well. No, it's, it is the mages guild. All right, cool. That was lucky. I wonder. No, 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 it's just, yeah. Damn it, it's too powerful. I should have known the Mage's Guild would be probably locked quite, quite securely. Guys, let me in, for fuck's sake. You'd think they'd give you a key. You can kick open doors, but uh, this, uh, one, one of the guards around here will immediately start yelling, HALT! And, and, and throw me in, in the dock, so. Alright, fine. I shall loiter for two hours. My streetwise skills improved. Nice. Ooh. Oh. 
Mage's Guild and Sentinel looks a bit different. I like it. Interesting kind of gemstone walls. Cool. Tielin, with your little chaos star there, I like the look at you. of you. Give me a quest. One of the grandiose mysteries of Tamriel is that there are simply forms of magic and power we do not yet understand. My sincerest desire is that the Empire will last another 1,500 years, so we may have time to unravel every enigma across the world itself in peace. But, to get to the point, a very strange wand was delivered to us recently with a latent enchantment we cannot draw out. The regular identification of spells... Regular identification spells avail us nothing. This requires the help of a true expert. Will you take it into the ruins to obtain that manner of help? All right. Very well, here it is. I would ask you not to tamper with it, but uh, I doubt you could in any case. If our specialist could not unleash its power, so much less will you. You'll most likely find Fozzy. Uh, Fozzy? Fozzy Bear? In a hole called Blarkham's Guard. Please treat her with respect, for she is a former member of the guild. We do not want some controversy to arise, merely because someone cannot control his tongue. I will see you here within 26 days to hear Fozzie's report. RK, watch over you. Right. We must find Fozzie! Nice ceiling, too. Still not allowed to access the bookshelf. God damn it. Hello. Ooh. <laughs> Got Ming the Merciless over here. Give me some training, bruh. In destruction again. It's difficult to increase destruction in the minute because I don't use it very much. Right. Blarkham's Guard. There we go. I do wish to travel there. My destruction skill has improved. Hurrah! Interesting place. It's like a little oasis. Large feathers lie scattered about. Harpy feathers are everywhere. Oh, oh. Not harpies. Flashbacks to The Witcher 2. Hello, Tilly. Driving home with Sorcerer Dave Radio. You're listening to Sorcerer Dave FM. Okay, that's one of the more interesting entrances I've seen in a while. We go right. Okay, we've gone in like at a funny, really funny angle there. Does this now imply that this entire dungeon here is now at a funny angle and there's like a weird gravitic magical anomaly that means that we walk around like it's normal probably not let us use a candle draw our hammer and step forth giant bat just died Depends on how you read it, that notification. It's like, giant bat just died, or giant bat just died? There's a green, very green, green, slimy walls we've got here. There's lots of algae or something growing around here. I guess it actually kind of makes sense in a way, since we're next to an oasis with lots of water. It might be quite damp down here. I'm sure that's entirely coincidental, though. Just a happy accident with the way... <laughs> with the way the, uh, the tile set's mashed up there. Sorry, was that an elven? Yeah, an elven longsword. Oh, floor treasure! Orc's blood. 
Ooh, torture chamber treasure. Look at the map. It's been surprisingly linear so far. That noise I just heard. Oh, tactical coffin. Oh, this always has someone in it. I was not disappointed. An elven tanto. Sure, I could probably sell it later. Well, that leads down into the darkness. What is this direction? A dead dude who is not lootable. Dead rat. Anchor! Oh, yeah, you're right. I'll anchor here at the coffin. How about that? Look, I mean, the thing is, look, I probably don't really need to, if I'm completely honest. I'll do it, but I probably don't need to in a dungeon like this because it's a it's a random dungeon, which means that it is a small one. Anchor's really helpful in the main quest dungeons. Of course, it's only a small dungeon because of the innie tweak, but um, ordinarily it would be a big one. Three gold pieces? That looks like a lot more than three gold pieces if you ask me, but fine. Yeah, you, you, you don't really need to set an anchor for a small dungeon like this. You can, just for, for purely for the sake of laziness, of course, but... Any secret doors here? This feels very secret door-ish. I'm not being terrifically methodical about this, am I right? So we've got a bit that goes down that way. We've got a bit that... Oh, that's, a, that's just a, a room, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's just a room. We've got a dead end there, a bit that goes around this corner. And we've got a passage leading off that way as well. It is, you're right, it is good to do it, I suppose, just for the sake of forming good habits, right? Yeah, you're, you're totally right. We're watching you. This is a very Stop. wet dungeon, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Fluffy Gut, thank you very much for two months of subbage. Welcome back. Rawr! Yeah, it's a harpy. The we material of the weapon I'm using is ineffective. That is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Um... Where's Wizard's Fire? It didn't quite work, did it? Run away! Wolf out. I don't know if Wolf Claws will count as, like, being able to harm Harpy. Yeah, that's really weird. This is an elven warhammer, like, and that, and it, and it still doesn't affect harpies. That's a little bit scary. The candle flickers and dies. Only be hit by dwarven or higher. Well, that just sucks. Okay, well, let's have another go with um, wizard's fire, right? Single target at range. What about frostbite? I'm sure, I bought frostbite, didn't I? Yeah, twenty-four. Shocks forty-nine, right? Yeah, let's have a look. One to nine points of health every round. Plus one to three points for every two levels. Let's give Frostbite a go. 
After I equip a, a, a light source, of course. I could cast a spell for that, but waste of magicka. As long as I've actually got candles and stuff, I might as well use them! Really? Really? Apparently I've been a bit oozy goosey with my quick saves here. You don't have any dwarven on you, do you? <laughs> no. Am I backtracking right now? I am, aren't I? Yeah, that's the entrance. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm I'm one hundred percent behind spaghetti on that one. Actually, can we? Yeah, those jokes are dumb and don't don't do them because they're stupid and they're not really funny. different way this time it feels like I have oh wait no no I recognize this and as much as one can recognize a corridor that looks almost identical to every other corridor <laughs> harpies generally tend to appear as female don't they in, in, in at least in video games but it might be one of those things where if you actually look up the original folklore, it might 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 be quite different. I only learned the I only learned the other day that, that there's a male form of a succubus, which is called an incubus. I did, totally had no idea that was a thing. Alright. Wizard's fire. Save versus spell made. Fucking Daggerfall! Why is magic so crap? Enemies nearby. Who dares interrupt my slumber? Oh god. Door jam, door jam, door jam. Spell effect failed! No! Run away! God, get. No! This dungeon just isn't going to work, is it? We need to leave. Just kill me. Thank you. I have the ebony dagger. <laughs> oh, I do. It's on my wagon, though. Yeah, that's better than nothing. That'll that'll do. Uh, right, back to the wagon. If I can remember the way back. I could try werewolf. I don't really want to though.
Uh, yes. Right. You harpies. Holy crap, the attack speed. <laughs> I've gone the wrong way again. Oh, bollocks. There we go. Light a torch. That's actually better than a candle, as you would expect, I suppose. You bloody birdie thing. There you are. Ha <laughs> ha, get wrecked. Excellent. heard a noise like a kind of almost a secret door noise I didn't see anything on the map though hmm okay Yourself, Harpy. Yes, fat this mode has been activated. <laughs> oh, the Ebony Dag is such a good pick on character creation. So bloody useful. You can just sell it at the first opportunity to get a bunch of cash, but honestly, it's worth keeping just for just for situations like this. Watching the start of Fathers LP recently because I only started with him at the start of Blood Moon. It's been quite fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm I'm less than impressed with the with the earlier quality of the Let's Play. Um, but I'm glad people like it. I mean, it's it's not it's not as it's not as cringe as some of my really old stuff. But um, I I do feel like the Let's Play's definitely improved over the years. I mean, anything that's going for like five years is going to inevitably change a lot over the course of making it. No, old Dave is not best, Dave. Old Dave ummed and ahed too much and had a shitty microphone. You could get away with that back then, less so nowadays. Ah, we found the other bit of this staircase. Do you know what? This dungeon seems almost identical to the one we were in with the werewolves. The layout seems virtually the bloody same. Because the the bit the, the dungeon parts are modular in this. That's how they, that's kind of how it works. So I think I've just gotten a bit unlucky here, having two that are very similar. Now that that. That's a passage we haven't gone down. All right, so let's get back down there. Let's see, we're gonna go around, down that way. 
then left, and then basically just keep left. Actually, no, there's another bit we haven't explored there. Okay. Have I been this way? Yes, but I haven't been this way. You have to go. See you, Dark Risen Knight. Have a good one. The rest of the VOD will be here. Whenever you have the time. Ah, tactical coffin number two! Oh look, and a big, a load of water, just like the last one. All right. Water breathing. Water walking. Wherever it is, buoyancy. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like levitating. You can use the space bar to go up and C to go down. Hello, Fozzy. I assume I, I can have these, right? You're carrying too much to stay afloat. Right, um, ni nice to meet you, Fozzy. I, I assume she has a like, constant effect water breathing. <laughs> well, perhaps she's meant to be an Argonian. We have to just use our imagination. Interesting. <laughs> Because this is this is clearly this is clearly the room in this tile set. Because this is exactly the same as before. It's this room in the tile set is where the the quest objective gets put, regardless of what the quest objective is. So last time we had a scorpion down here, and this time we have a mage. <laughs> ah, good. Sorry. Oh, well, good. Yes, I am. What do you want to be? Well, hmm. I suppose I can take a look at it. It's just this one. You hold the trinket in front of her, which she touches while chanting an incantation. A burst of light follows, which leaves you unsettled. Once your eyes adjust, you see a very different demeanor on Fozzie's face. This is my home. What are you doing in my home? This David will And that's going to attack me. And I, I'm pretty sure I have to run away based on what the quest giver dude said to me. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking, will she calm down? Or do I just need to run away? Oh, here we go. Fozzy halts mid-step. Lucidity appears to return to her eyes as she trembles. Oh my, oh dear, I didn't hurt you, did I? What an awful, awful trap I was put on, on this simple thing. Uh, one of us could have been killed. Oh, I feel faint. Tell Tlelin that we now know everything we need to about that device. And tell him to burn it. I would do so myself if I weren't completely submerged in water. Uh, and convinced it would arouse the Archmagister's wrath. Go in peace, Breton, and thank you for sparing my life. Right. Did I actually drop the anchor this time? I don't know if I did. Ugh, I'm not gonna do it, just because I don't wanna I don't wanna end up teleporting to a dungeon in Daggerfall by accident. That would not be good. Let's just walk back to the entrance. That was pretty weird, yeah. <laughs> That was pretty frickin' weird.
But I mean, for once, like the tile set and everything came together quite nicely because this place is located at an oasis with water surrounding it. So you've got algae and stuff growing on the walls, and it's all damp down here. And at the bottom, you had a uh, had a mage living in submerged underwater with like water breathing magic. Like uh, there was kind of an accidental theme to this dungeon that I, I that I really enjoyed actually. So that was kind of fun. Yeah, this way. Water talking. <laughs> Let's rest in here for a bit before we leave. Ooh, lots of skill increases. Look at that. Very nice. So our level progress now, 79%. Uh, no, I wish to just simply leave. I like using Breton Warriors because they're mage proof. Uh, good shout, yeah. Ooh, nice background. Right. Okay. Back to Sentinel. Hello, Dreadnought. Back to the Mages Guild is the lag. That's not a stream thing. It's not your connection, by the way. I should just say again. It's the game loading in the distant terrain. Here we go. How much do you want to bet it's not open? Oh, look, it's not open. Every time I come to the Mage's Guild, I have to stand outside it for three hours. Oh, my poor Fuzzy, what an awful trap. We owe you much this day, Tim. Had you slain her, we would have lost one of our foremost experts on arcane artifacts. Well done, my child. Please, take this reward for uncovering the secret within the wand. What we do with it now is in the Council's hands. Burn it. You cannot... Ah. Sorry about this, Tlelin. It just happens sometimes. It must be a full moon, mate. Um, it's quite funny, really. Considering nobody in the game gives a toss that you're a werewolf when you're in werewolf form, it's just... I guess that's just a thing now. Werewolves were not always persecuted in Tamriel's history. It was really more of a recent thing in, 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 in Skyrim. And, and uh, Modern Wind. Yeah, what I can do is basically quickly cast Lycanthropy again, pick up the gold, and then I should turn back into one. There we go. You dream once again of the moon. Got anything else for me while I'm here? I mean, sorry. Got anything else for me while I'm here, Guildmaster? Noble Kirchin has sponsored the guild in many of our enterprises, and we have made enemies, so has he. And as we have made enemies, so has he. Uh, we have word from him, from him courier, that a witch has cursed him with unending insomnia. A simple sleep spell would cure him. Perhaps you are willing and able to cast it? I would willingly pay you 360 gold. Uh, sleep. Give it a go. 
Very good. Now I told the courier that we couldn't wouldn't use any spell but sleep on Kirchin. Given him previous given him previous experience with cursed spells. This is like local slang, what is this? Um you can hardly blame him for the, his this anxiety. You'll find him Kirchin in the Greening residence in Shris Manor. Kirchin will be the well armoured one. Be certain to be back in twenty five days with our friend in sound sopa. Can I buy a spell in werewolf form? Hello. Yes, I can. <laughs> right, sleep, sleep, sleep. There we go. Hopefully I can cast it. <laughs> yep, I'm a werewolf right now. But I've not joined the Dark Brotherhood, Talerlin, because I'm a good boy. I am the bestest boy. Don't much care for these 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 lion head things on the walls, though. Grrr. Hello, Mubsy. You make spells, don't you? I don't need to make any spells right now. All right, so gr uh, greening manor or something. Greening residence in Shris Manor. Okay. Oh yes, and as been pointed out previously, you can ride a horse while a werewolf, which is just fucking magnificent. I can even cast spells while I'm a werewolf, I think, as well. So I can, I can be a flying, I, I can be a werewolf on a flying horse. Look, no hands. <laughs> Welcome to Daggerfall, everybody. Fear me. <laughs> of course, the residents of Sentinel are just like, oh, look, it's another flying werewolf on a horse. You see them all the time these days. Okay, Triss Manor. The greening residence. It's got to be one of these, right? Is, is the game going to tell me? Probably not, is it? No, there it is, the greening residence. Go on in. Right. What pointless bloody cupboards. Hello! I believe it's you I'm looking for. You see a warrior. Right. Sleep. Kirchin falls into a profound sleep, still on his feet. Because <laughs> you couldn't be bothered to animate his, his sprite falling over asleep, right? <laughs> I see what you did there, Daggerfall developers. <laughs> Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Never mind. Rest in peace, Magicka. Can I? Please, can I come in? My fur's getting all soggy. I've got no magic here. I can't levitate. Oh, God. Right, we'll just climb over it. Luckily, when you are a werewolf, you do get a bonus to climbing. Which is nice. Now, can I get... Oh, dear. Ow. <sighs> What does this say? Sentinel. Okay. 
mage skill is over that away. What is the time? All right, let's, we might as well just find an inn then. Yeah, I like the seasons changing. That's a neat touch. Um. Oh, right. It's green you want, isn't it, for an inn, not orange. I get why they didn't keep the seasons thing because it's much harder to do. Um, you know, as, as 3D graphics technology went on and on. Although these days, you'd think they probably could do it. You hear me, Todd? Elder Scrolls 6 better have seasons in it. You know, it probably will, though, actually. I wouldn't be surprised because I remember one of the... One of the... Uh, game dev bash things they did. One of the mods some of the devs made was like a changing seasons mod, I think. For Skyrim. So, wouldn't surprise me if that becomes a thing. There we go. We finally found a fucking door, right? <laughs> Low charge. Uh... Okay, what say I test some of your knowledge? See if you know as much as I do about the surviving in the Alec Bay. <laughs> you look like you've seen adventure some adventures, he said to the werewolf. <laughs> Alright, go on. See how you do. First, let's begin. Imps suffer no damage from iron weaponry. Correct. Second, stre uh, second strength determines a part of maximum health. No. That's two. Third, more endurance makes you lose less stamina per action. I suppose technically, yes. Uh, like, in an abstract kind of a way, it makes you lose less, because your bar's bigger, right? But, oh, fuck it. Screw you, Charge. Rawr. Could just murder Charge. I don't think I will, though. Hello? You get no response. You're usually the sprite that's used for quests. What are you doing here? As you're having, taking time off from, from running fetch quests for the player. Hello. I would like a room. Really, though, I'll just settle for a, you know, a pile of blankets in the corner in, in the, when I'm in this form, honestly. Somebody's lap, honestly, you know. <laughs> Uh, right. Until fully healed. Your jumping skill has improved. Hurrah! Where's the time? Perfect! How do I get out of here? Oh! Uh, well, I can get on the roof. I guess that'll do. Uh, no, no, that's not. Not gonna jump down and lose health after just having rested. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, wrong room. Uh, all right, the stairs are here. More empty rooms of pointlessness. Gusty. I didn't realize this place had three floors, actually. I'll never get in charge. Right. Can I stop being a werewolf now, please? Has the full moon passed yet? It looks like it has. Although the background on here is still screwed up. I've just noticed that this has changed because it's raining, the background there. That's nice. Alright, cool. Now... Mage's Guild, all the way over there. Out of curiosity, are you more of a tabletop gamer or you also played uh, some 
paper RPG systems. I've only played Dungeons and Dragons. Third, 3.5. I, I, I DM'd one session of fourth, and I've played fifth edition. Um, aside from that, I've never dabbled in anything else. Uh, not, not because I don't want to, just because I've never had friends that were interested. Like, I've always kind of wanted to try RuneQuest, but no one was ever interested. And um, obviously, yeah, as, as people who frequent this channel will know, I am massive, massively into Warhammer. I play a lot of Warhammer. Last time you played D&D, Thacko was the norm. <laughs> Bloody hell. I hear that Kirchen dropped into sublime torpescents right on his feet. I do hope he wakes before the next new life. As for you, my fine Breton, you have certainly earned your 360 gold pieces. Glorantha is love, Glorantha is life. Play only war campaign, the Horus Heresy times. Oh, nice. Yeah, I would quite like to play a 40k tabletop RPG. It could be kind of fun. One uh, like um, Dark Heresy, maybe, or um, the new Rogue Trader. Or what was the other new one they've done recently? I can't remember what it's called. Don't remember. Anyway. Total brain fart. What was I doing? Watching you. Scum. Master Prozis has subscribed, and that notification was really quiet for some reason. Was that really quiet for everyone else? Wrath and Glory, that was the one. There we go. Am I excited for the Steam release of Door Fortress? Yes. Really excited. Um, Master Prozis, thank you very much for 30 months. Long time no see. Glad you've not been taken by the plague. No, I've dodged it so far, somehow. At least I think I have. Only an antibody test would be able to tell me the truth, but if I had it, it was ridiculously mild. My dad did get it. Um, luckily, it wasn't a very bad case of it in his case. I mean, I say that. He has, he has suffered with a few long-term side effects, but they're not very serious long-term side effects on the bright side. It was a little quiet. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? That wasn't just me, then. I just... That was randomly super quiet. Odd. Imagine losing taste at like 20. Well, it does come back for most people. My dad lost his sense of taste and smell while he had it, and it's, it's come back now. I get, yeah, for some people it seems to be like almost permanent, but... Uh, Luckily, not in his case. Apparently, Warhammer Fantasy roleplay back in the day was quite good, from what I've heard. A Star Wars RPG would be quite fun, probably. I must admit. Actually, I say I've only played Dungeons and Dragons. That's not strictly speaking true. Actually, I have played um, Agneton, which was Variax's post-apocalyptic RPG system. He made. He made two. Uh, Variax is a very creative fellow. Actually, he made two RPG systems: one called IRPG, and one called Agneton. And I played at a session of Agneton with him years and years ago. It was it was actually quite fun. Uh, da, 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 da. What am I doing? What am I? What am I? What is happening? What is going on? I want another quest. That's what I want. Give me another quest, damn you! More quests. If you'll hear it, we'll ha we have a bit of a difficulty, so to speak. The famed researcher Glafielin has left us a manuscript of very valuable research, but needs to get to the Infinite Redeemer of Arke after eight days' time. 
Our colleague Festber won't arrive until then, so the documents must be kept safe. We have good reason to believe the Thieves Guild will pursue their carrier. What do you No. Send me to a dungeon. I should really turn on the option in the options menu that gives you the list to choose from, shouldn't I? Get a rare ingredient that is hidden away in a nearby dungeon. Right, this is what I want. You will get a finder's fee of 124 gold pieces. Are you interested? Yes. An excellent attitude, Tim. You are looking for ghoul's tongue, which can be found in the hold of Vluvim. You have 16 days to bring it back. Quality. Because right now, what I don't need... I don't need money. What I need is experience. You good, sir. Is there a pawn shop around here somewhere? Heronax General Pawn Shop on my map is... Uh, additionally, can you f can you tell me where a alchemist is? Brilliant. And can you tell me where an armorer's is? Fucking brilliant. Slep sl Slelpum? You are my favorite NPC. Okay. So, Sentinel's Best Spices, the Pawn Shop are over there, and Andard's Quality Arsenal and Sentinel's Best Armor are both right next to each other right there as well. Cool. All right, well, let's go to the Pawn Shop. And Sentinel's Best Spices while we're on the way there, so south. South, south, west. Aye, sir. South, south, west. Name that quote. Name the movie that quote is from. It's an obscure one. That, that, well, not, not the movie, but the quote is a little obscure. Ah, hello. The Adventurer's Arms Maker. Carefully mounted displayed. Not the slightest defect can be detected by any, any item within. Excellent. Not a very big place, is it? But all right. Now, actually, do I have anything that needs repairing? Condition new. Almost new. Uh, we seem to be okay for now. I'd like to sell you. Do I, anything to I could sell you that. That's not very useful to me, honestly, that one. No, that tour goes curious. So you can have that. Ooh, pile of money for that. 555 gold. I will take that any day. Uh, now, what do you have on your shelf? Steel greaves. Hold on. I need to be able to look at what I've got currently and see. I got elven greaves, so that's no, no good. A chain kite shield. Dwarven katana. Tell me you've got a dwarven hammer here somewhere, man. That would be perfect. Is that your only shelf? It is his only shelf. <laughs> Damn it! Oh well. It's a small drop. Let's try the Emperor's Weapons. Not fit for a king, this place, apparently, but it maybe it'll do. What you got for me? Garbage, really, is what you have for me. Aside from an elven claymore, which with a slightly different character build would be kind of nice. Whoa, 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 game. What's going on? Keyboard went all weird there. What I need right now is Slash and Smash, the big orc weapon shop. Um, no, I don't need to sell you anything. Do you have any other shelves hidden about the place? Nope. Okay. Sentinel's best spices. It's over here. That's a bookshop. This is what we want here. Hello! Sell. So. 
Okay. Thank you very much. That is, this is not the way. Right. Oh, there's a whole, there's a whole street of shops here. What else we got? A tailor. Gondon's attire. We've got Edwick, Ed, Ed, uh, a smith. Not a very helpful one. Daggerfall is a strange beast. It is quite strange. The Bank of Sentinel. We have a jewelry shop. Another alchemist's. A general store. Where is that turn general store? I haven't seen him in a little while. Adventurer's weaponry. Pawn shop. Here we go. Good sir. I come with things to sell you. Like uh, this holy tome. And this random shirt. I actually think that's it. I thought I had more stuff than that, but alright. What? <laughs> Hang on a minute. That's not my magic shirt, is it? No, no, that's the, that's the magic shirt. I guess the holy tome is just worth... Yeah, it's worth tons of money. Alright. You dropped into Varax's chat yesterday. Oh, you must just be busy then. He's decided he doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> Anything good in here? Not particularly. Anything in the back? Nope. Yeah, holy tomes are uh, valuable. Notebook. I forgot that was the thing you could open. Right. What's our current quest? Ghoul's Tongue. The Hold of Vluvum. Oh, God. <laughs> the block capitals. A Hold of Vluvum something. Vluvum. Yes, I wish to travel there. Are you going to continue co op or end with the Variax from 2018? What do you mean, continue? Like. For one thing, it was two years ago, and for another thing, it wasn't a series, it was just a one-off fun thing we did. So I am somewhat confused by your question. We might, I mean, I, I've done, I did another Co-op Morrowin thing with him on one of his 24-hour Easter charity streams. Like a couple of years ago, as well. I think it was about yeah, in twenty nineteen. I think I did it. Ah, oh, I did have loads more stuff, but it was in the wagon. Oh well, I'll do that next time we're back in back in town. I'm, I suspect chat was probably yelling at me. It's in the wagon, you fool. But, uh, I wasn't listening. Get out of my face, you. I paid you to wear a gondolier's hat, yes. Uh oh, spiders. Bad spiders. Bad spoders.
Bad warrior. Oh my god. Oh, that's just cheeky. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> oh god, there's more. Stop this at once, honestly. You're going to have to come down here if you want to get me. Do you know what? I've had enough of your shiz. Not so clever now, are you? Chain gauntlets. Yes, please. I don't think I'm even wearing gauntlets right now of any kind. There we go. Ghoul's tongue. Well, there we go. We've got it. However, we're not really here for the ghoul's tongue. We're really here for the experience. Just give me flashbacks to the, uh, oof, the Urshalaku burial cabins that's been here. Um, healing. Oh, that's a big skull. <laughs> Surprise bat! Here again. Oh, this is a jolly confusing little cave network we got here, isn't it? Right, there's a bit behind me I've not explored. Right, just in front of me, this one. Here. Yeah. Oh good, a pointless room. Who doesn't love those? From zero to ten, how good is my general sense of direction? Minus three. That is a big bloody crate. For some reason, it's just there. Oh, hello. This bat has been, these bats were conducting some sort of evil ritual in here. Look, look at this. I just killed a pair of vampires in their vulnerable bat form. That's what I did there. Daggerfalls tells the best dungeons in the Elder Scrolls. Hard disagree there, my friend, but if it if you if you find these more fun, more power to you, I suppose. Oddly enough, I actually prefer Arena's dungeons to these. Because Arena's dungeons, most of them are actually like handmade and laid out in a sensible way that made sense. Like when you go to the first dungeon and it's like a, you know, it's, it's a castle. So it has like an entry hall and bedrooms and servants' quarters and stuff like that. You know, it's like an actual castle that's been overrun by goblins. Loader. Save versus spell made twice there. I got very lucky. Do 
Does Arena have a mirror remake of Swordside Dagger Falls? No, unfortunately, it's still just DOSBox, uh, sadly. I hope that one day Arena Unity becomes a thing, though. Because it deserves to be. I will, I will always go to bat for Arena. I think it's a very underrated game. Let me guess, this is gonna, these two passages are going to meet up down here. Dead bat. Yes. Why do I think Arena is superior to Daggerfall? I just find it less grindy. For one thing, I feel like the dungeons are better designed. It's just overall just a lot less frustrating to play. And it has a far more compelling storyline. Hundred and fifty seven people are watching this. That's pretty good, isn't it, by the usual standards. Daggerfall's popular. I'm I'm sitting here shit talking this poor game, even though I'm playing it and people are tuning in to watch it. I don't think Daggerfall's a bad game necessarily at all. I'm just I just happen to like other ones more. Though I have to admit the Unity version of this game really has done a lot lot a lot for it. I am enjoying it much more with the Unity. <clears throat> Is that really the way we came in down there? This dungeon has a lot of upstairs to it, doesn't it? You're in utter disbelief that so many people tune into Daggerfall. <laughs> it is an Elder Scrolls game at the end of the day, for one thing. And it's probably a Elder Scrolls game that people are curious about because it's one that a lot of them have not necessarily played themselves. But they've just heard about. Well, as I said, we've got what we came for. Let's get down here and explore this little area that there. I'm pretty sure I failed to remember to anchor again when I came in here, but no matter. Ooh. Hello, bats. I'm down here. Thank you. What have we here? Big cave room with a couple of stone columns in it. Ooh, 225 gold and some mummy wrappings. Don't mind if I do. Right, just down the hall is the exit, so I think we'll just take it at this point. This dungeon is kind of cool, but it's also very confusing to navigate, so I think I want out, honestly. <laughs> there we go. Oh, is the sun coming up? Oh god, no, not that. It's five, five in the morning, yeah, the sun's coming up. There's the moons. Let's put the lantern out. I have a huge ton of oil for it, so I'm not going to run out anytime soon. Tried out The Witcher for like 10 minutes to playtest it. Seems bizarre slash interesting so far. I do like the original Witcher. As I've said before, it, 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 it suffers a bit in terms of the writing and voice acting because of the circumstances in which the game was made. But everything else, like the gameplay and the game mechanics and stuff like that, 
I really enjoy it in the first Witcher game. I think it's it's real nice. Oh yeah, and the visuals. Yeah, some of the character art is a bit odd, <laughs> to say the least. But um, I do really enjoy the first Witcher game, and I will get back and record another episode of it one of these days. Honest, Governor. I'm juggling lots of projects at the minute. I'm painting multiple armies for 40k for battle reports, particularly now that solo battle reports are apparently a thing that people like to watch. Um, I am doing these Daggerfall streams regularly. I'm doing popular streams now. I am doing Morrowind on YouTube. I am also doing Mechanicus on YouTube. And um, I'm also working on one, soon possibly two other YouTube series that you don't know about yet. Well, it's actually one of them you know about. But the other one I don't think you do know about. So. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a busy guy at the moment, actually. And in, the, in, in amongst all of that, I'm trying to figure out a slot in which I can record The Witcher. So. <laughs> yeah, one of them is the Star Wars Empire War Mega Campaign. Yeah, one of them is that. The other one, I don't think I've informed anyone about yet. Oh yeah, send painting streams. Well, the painting streams is fine, because that's killing two birds with one stone, right? That's that's me painting for, for the, bat, the bat reps, but also making some content out of it, so I'm cheating there almost. Only thumbs, yeah. Only thumbs. I, I, I like I like the title Watching Paint Dry, personally. Because it's a bit it's a bit it's a bit less NSFW. Um, but only thumbs is quite amusing. <laughs> Spoilers, a tiny one. A teeny tiny spoiler. A teeny teeny weeny weeny tiny spoiler. What for? What's the spoiler for? You're painting winged hussars at the moment. Oh nice. A bit of historical war gaming. Spoilers for your kind, need a new one. <laughs> I was referring to the new secret series. Oh, you want me to give you a teeny tiny spoiler? Um, all right. Um, I'm trying, trying to give. I'm trying to think of how I can do it so it's it's suitably cryptic. Um. In before Arnold's impression. What genre? Oh, no, no, that would narrow it down far too much. Um, let me think. It, uh... Wealth beyond measure, Outland. First time by my magic video content, I want you to say thanks for all you do, especially Daggerfall Unity. Just notice the uh, the alert doesn't go quite fully onto the thing there. Thank you very much for that donation, though. That is super generous of you. But yeah, the alert text was slightly off the edge of the screen. I must have accidentally nudged it when I was editing the stream elements before. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> let me think a clue a clue it it Um, it is a nice sunrise, this isn't it, actually, yeah. Um, 
Is it a cooking show? <laughs> it's a new release for a very old game. There you go. It's a new release. New-ish, anyway. Now that I think about it, it's been out for a little while now. Uh, but yeah, a new release for an old game. Go to pack in YouTube and become a stripper. <laughs> hey, man, if it pays well. There's no point in asking me. There's no point in asking me. I'm going to tell you. That's all you're getting. What am I doing in the game next? I'm heading back to Sentinel to turn in this quest and also sell all the stuff in my wagon. That's what we're doing. Just enjoying this sunrise here while I talk to the chat for a moment. Sorry, folks on YouTube, but it's boring. Apologies, I'll get back to the game now. It's just uh, the sunrises in this game are quite nice, honestly, as the landscape starts to hove into view with the long shadows and stuff. It's nice to just st stop and take a look around once in a while. As Ferris Bueller once said. I'm locked out again. Thanks a bunch, guys. Let me up. Have to climb over the damn wall again. Did I ever play Mag Magic 10? No, can't say. Ooh, I ever have. I've only played my Magic 7 and 8, I think. Back to the mouse and fawn. Is the mouse and fawn the one with a really weird layout? I think it is. What this? What's this shop here? Ah, that's an alchemist. Good to know. I have many things to sell to that alchemist come the morning. Would it hurt you guys to put a sign out the front next to the door? Maybe a lantern for weary travellers to find in the bloody dark? Oh, hello, Tim. Hello, Charge. I could just pay in advance for like a week of... Ah, no, that wouldn't really work though because I'm not usually travelling outside of town for days at a time. This hint was a mistake. <laughs> Possibly. to rent for 24 hours. Sorry, I'm absent-minded there. Rest until fully healed. There it. I'm sorry, what? Oh, oh. It's either the werewolf hunters or the Dark Brotherhood. Barbosa Kingham said, I'd find you. Yeah, it's the werewolf hunter. Die, Yeus. Well, that was foolish of you quite frankly. Sorry about that, Inkeep. There's some very intolerant people in this society, I'm afraid. The vast majority of you are completely fine with a werewolf walking in and ordering a room for the night. But uh, this dickhead, unfortunately, yeah. Go back to sleep. <laughs> It's 
5.19 a.m. Uh, let's rest a bit longer then. Loiter? No, rest. For... Seven hours, I think. down here. How do I get out of here? I can never remember. Where's where's Charge? Charge. Charge stands next to the exit. Where's Charge? Damn it all. How do I get out of your stupid inn? Here we go. Whew. Right. Oh yeah, the arena ends at the size of football fields. Yeah, that's yeah. The buildings, interiors, and arena are kind of <laughs> freaking crazy. Um, right. Now where is that? It's over here somewhere, I think. Uh, alchemists. Yeah, just down the road. Hello! I wish to sell you things. Like these mummy, mummy wrappings, and also the contents of my frickin' wagon. Oh yes. We're in the money. We're in the money. All right, that's the Mage's Guild over there. I can see it from here. It's the only, like, dark-coloured building in the entire city. You can't accidentally sell quest times, right? No. That's why they're highlighted in... They're highlighted in green just to be on the safe side, but I'm pretty sure you can't sell quest items. We're about to go for a swim. Yes, we are. <laughs> Yeah, the twigs are an alchemy ingredient in this game. Right! Talelin, I'm back. I suppose this will do. Couldn't you have brought back a fresher sample? The quality of guild members just isn't what it used to be. Well, here's your finest fee, Tim. Thank you. Get quest. The internal azimuthal vectors really do cross at the anterior pole. It should be possible. Eh? Oh, uh, journeyman, I didn't see you standing there. Uh, but how fortuitous! I need someone to help me with my research. Are you available? Yes. Splendid! You see, I'm working on a particularly thorny problem in theoretical applied magic, and I need a particular magic wand made by Churden himself. By all reports, a masterful little piece of work, but according to my research, impossible. The internal azimuth vectors are such that I cannot reconcile the externally manufactured la manifested lateral flow lines. This is like Star Trek techno babble. This, well, having the piece of study would help me measurably, but I have not had much luck tracking it down. The only reference I've come across mentioned a catalog once held by the library at. Uh, oh yes, nowadays it's known as the Cavern of Hamuni. 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 That's that's a very Morrowind name for a cavern. That is bloody hell. You might also try a colleague of mine, Myth. Mahuthim. He is an expert on Churden. Wrote the def definitive biography, although in my opinion, uh, well, no time to get into that old debate. You'll find Mith Mahuthim in a dank hole called the Pit of Sahas. I don't see how he can abide working in such places. Uh, hmm. Yes, come back with see me when see me in say 67 days and uh, report your findings. Yes? Splendid. Okay, so we can go to the cavern of Homuneusuna. Or we can go find Mahuthim um, in the Pit of Sahas. <laughs> Abridged version. Back off and find me some magical shit. Okay, thanks, bye.
right. Out of curiosity, one thing is 86% to next level, good. Other thing is affiliations. I don't know. Rep for your fighters guild has not gone down. Good. Okay. 67. It's just a, yeah, it's just a number he just pulled out of his ass, isn't it? Um, okay. The Pit of Sahas, then. Let's try that first. The Pit of Sahas. This place is not going to be nearly as epic as it sounds, I can already tell. Oh yeah, it's raining in the desert. I suppose it has to happen sometime. Now then, where's the entrance? Um... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a bloody saber-toothed tiger. and get a better look from above. I think that is that it? I think that, that's it over there. A spring bubbles from the ground. The pit of Sahas. Nice. Oh. This is a bit different. Right. Anchor. They have a reception desk. This dungeon has a reception desk. <laughs> what is this? Or it sounds like there's probably a tiger behind that. Yeah, I've also. It's a bloody tiger with guarding a bunch of levers. Well, I suppose when in doubt, pull all of the levers, but. Sometimes in Daggerfall, they have an annoying habit of closing something that was already open just because the developers hate you. Ah, secret door. Die, rat. You thought you were safe in your secret panic room. <laughs> you were wrong. Ah, oh, I think it opened this port colour, so I suspect one of those levers. Thanks for the money. Movable scratching posts. Or oh, a bear! I think wild animals seems to be the theme of this dungeon, which is interesting. Maybe the guy who lives here is just keeping bears and tigers in the place because, I don't know, he's, an, he's, an, he's some sort of naturalist? I don't know, I don't understand. I'm trying to justify this narratively and it's not happening. Maybe everyone got turned in. This place was full of just like his assistants and stuff. See, this is closed. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the levers upstairs closed that. Um, but like, like, all, he, all of his assistants got accidentally turned into animals because of a spell he fucked up. Maybe that's it.
I'm just casually murdering his staff right now. Killing the help. Oriole got to new animals because of a spell that was successful, yes. That is the other slightly more disturbing possibility. Gonna have to rest soon, Mount Magica. Bad kitty. Oh, hello. Sorry, did I just kill your pet? Hello, Jordan's Wand, you say? Well, I yes, I believe I ran across a reference to that very thing just last week here. Uh, where did I put those notes? Uh, here we are. Um, meadow Amber Sparking. That's, that's vintage Jordan for sure. Uh, looks like it was in the stronghold of Borkton. At least it was when this was written. Good luck! Uh, thanks, I guess. Sorry about the tiger. What's my build in the game right now? You know, just sort of custom battle magey build. I'll give you the deets here. There you go. Primary skills, blunt weapon, restoration, destruction. Mages are running, dodging, medical, miners are daedric, giantish. Critical strike, thermaturgy, mysticism, streetwise. And uh, I don't know if it's possible to, to, to display any of my... Advantages and disadvantages I picked, but basically disadvantages are I can't use tower shields. And I have times three magicka. Or something. So the history? Ah, there you go. Forbidden weaponry, missile weapons... Yeah, we can't use bows and arrows. We are we have a phobia of Daedra. We can't use tower shields, and we have increased magery three times intelligence and spell points and immunity to disease as well. Although I think the immunity to disease is because I'm a werewolf currently. That's also probably worth mentioning. I'm a werewolf. Which is why my stats are so good. Ah, excellent. Uh, no, I shall, I shall happily leave the pit of Sahas. All right. So, what was the place he sent us to? I have zero days before the home begins. Yeah, that's that's definitely over. That that Barbarossa Kingdom is extremely dead. The uh. Who's them is respect ex expert on Churden? Yeah, he told me to go somewhere. Where did he tell me to go? Ah, here we go. Might find Churden's one somewhere in a place called the Stronghold of Borchton. So, what's the point of going to find the catalogue? Werewolf in London just subscribed. Oh, Dean's handed out the the, the joke subs again. <laughs> Office dad and lord who was assassinated. No, he was a baker, actually. <laughs> he was a baker that was murdered by thugs. A baker with a very interesting you know, life story before he got married, settled down, and became a baker. I'm not from London, though. Catalog takes you to the same place. Says that the magic wand is on loan from Stronghold. Either that or it tells you the items in an unknown location. Oh, okay. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm using the Dream mod for the graphical overhaul. Oh, if you look at the YouTube VODs for this series, uh, the mod list is in the description of those. Did I ever decide why the thug decided to save Arthur from the death penalty, by the way? No, I don't think I did. <laughs> I genuinely don't think I did. There might have been a plan there originally, but if there was, I have totally forgotten it. Alright, so we are looking for... The Stronghold of Borchton. What the devil? Is this the Dark Brotherhood after me now? You detour around a gaping pit, you clamber over piles of gravel. What? Who's trying to kill me? And would you mind ow stopping? Well, I found the entrance. Please don't, whoever you are. Oh, we've got multiple entrances. That always indicates a fun time. Um, right. And the interior of this will have probably no resemblance whatsoever to the exterior, by the way. Yeah, see, <laughs> no resemblance at all. Uh-oh, spider. Dead spider now. Alright. Need to rest. <sighs> really? Secret door. No. Yeah. Nine just died. Okay, good. Hope you're proud of yourself. Enemy. Really? Get away! Oh, a skeleton. Not had one of them in a while. Oh. Plenty of archers. That one put up quite a fight. Relatively speaking. We're watching you, Scum. Level up at last! Uther Pendragon has subscribed. Thanks. Thanks again, Dean. Right, what are we going to increase? Intelligence is always a good idea. It's not currently being... I don't think it's currently being buffed by, by being a werewolf, so... More magicka, please? Yeah. Only six health is level. Yeah, not a very good roll there, but... Ah, well. We are a bit of a glass cannon, I think, so... Medical, dodging, blunt weapon, and critical strike all improved. Lovely. So I now have... How much magicka? It doesn't bloody say on here. You've got fatigue and health. It doesn't tell you what your magicka is. Press on in. Oh, that's how you do it, yeah. 210 out of 228 spell points. Nice. Very nice. Alright. Let us continue. Do I need to put an anchor here? I probably should, actually. All 
Where is that skeleton? Let me put it out of its misery. Can't do anything with these shelves. Spider! Another spider. I can hear a bear. Secret doors in here? Oh. Where's this skeleton? He's over here somewhere. Any secret doors? Possibly, Django, but this this hammer I've been using for a little while now, and I'm pretty sure it's still condition new. So, I don't think we have much to worry about. Yeah, it's still condition new. Gear damage is extremely slowly in this game. Dean, thank you very much for the te 10 gift subs. Fucking hell, man. That's, uh... That's a bit mad. Enjoy your emotes, folks. We're watching you. That's very generous of you, Dean. Cheers, man. Um... I recognize a few names in there as well. Coggers, you have subs now. I mean, you have emojis now. Congrats. We're watching you, Scott. Naughty bear. Healing, please. Thank you. We're watching you. It's going to be popping off for a little while now. <laughs> ah, curse you, empty brick room. Okay, that's a whole new kettle of fish, that area. Let's, let's backtrack slightly here. We're watching you, scum. Oh, naughty spider. No, 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 no. One out of 159 chance of getting that. Well, I suppose not technically, because I do have other watching subs watching, but you. yeah, still. Scum. You have won the lottery. Congrats. I wish I had been the lottery. Made life so much easier. I could move into a nice big house all of my own. We're watching and I could do this purely for fun Scum. instead of for, for, for money. I could play any game I wanted, regardless of how popular it is. Wouldn't that be awesome? What else would I do? Probably buy immediately buy a really nice computer. That's what I'd do if I won the lottery. First thing, buy a fucking fantastic computer. We're watching you, scum. Spaghetti. Thank you for the gift sub as well. I oh, give friendly doctor a, a gift, so there you go. We're watching you, scum. My comfortable spot with the PC fund or not yet? Not really, no, because the bank, like I said, got on me about my overdraft usage last year. We're watching. So, uh, scum. on the bright side, though, there's I'm really there's there's no. Pressing need desperately to get a new PC at the moment. We're, we're still good for now, really, honestly. This this old workhorse is still serving me quite well. Look at this little creepy bastard. Anything in the pit? I don't think so. A lot of spiders in this dungeon. No, I do not approve of the sheer number of spiders in this dungeon.
sorry, what? The wizard did it. Yes, I was briefly levitating there to get over the pit. We're watching you, scum. Oh, Bean, you didn't have to do that. Subs for everyone! He's like Oprah with bees, but instead with subs. It's a madman. We're watching you, scum. Where is this freaking skeleton? I can hear the bastard screeching away. Rawr yourself, you bloodstick skeleton. Where are you? I bring your pretty face to my hammer. Scum. They're on a floor directly below me or something, aren't they? Or possibly above me, I've just noticed this. Hold on a moment. We're watching you. Up this way. We're watching you, scum. I found the bear finally. Where's that skeleton? Another spider. <laughs> I like the Grim Reaper We're in that meme you. right now. <laughs> Just walking down the corridor, going into every door and murdering something. There you are, at last. Oh man, that poor skeleton. He had no idea who he was messing with right there, Watch did he? <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, this is quite cozy. We'll rest in here for a bit. We're watching you, scum. The subpocalypse. Pluck your arrows out of the corpse. Oh, I didn't know it did that if it only had arrows on it. I've never played an archer in this game, though, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Hollow loot pile. Now you can keep your blue suede shoes, game. I don't really need those. Still looking for this blasted wand, aren't we? Is there anything else on this level? I don't think so. No, this is all a little self-contained bit, isn't it? About three hours yet. What is the time anyway? Ah, oh, it's six o'clock. We got another. We can go for another hour or so. We just stop around seven o'clock-ish. So, we should at least be able to get this dungeon done. We are level four now, so we might be able to go see Prince Lotan next time and continue the main quest. Which would, of course, be marvellous. Okay, this time let's turn right. Ah. <laughs> Do you know what, honestly, Daggerfall, it's, it, finding a dead end is a good thing. It's one less area you need to explore. A couple of bears in a torture chamber for some reason. What's that about? BDSM bears. Open the door. Murder. This looks familiar, but it's actually not. Now, stairway where it goes down. Let's go backtrack slightly here, because there's another corridor I've not gone down. This way. What do we have here? 21 gold pieces and a dead end. Just the way I like it.
The pain must have been unbearable. <laughs> oh, look, there's a bear in the pit. Should I put him out of his misery? Hiya! I can hear another skeleton. Battlespire win. <laughs> I've never played Battlespire, actually. Never, not even once. I've heard it is stupendously buggy. I have seen bits of it. I remember when Lilia played through it um, a while ago, and it actually looked quite cool. But, yeah, apparently it is stupidly buggy. Well, we found the bottom of the dungeon, which contained a, a sarcophagus, and I feel like there sort of should, you know, you know, if this wasn't randomly generated rubbish, that there would have been something seriously fucking cool in that sarcophagus. It's like this entire place is built around this one ancient tomb in the very bottom, on the lowest level, on the lowest floor. But no, it's just a skeleton warrior and feck all. That would be the place, logically, you'd think you would find the, find the one, right? Some, somewhere like that. But in actual fact, it's probably just going to be a random room guarded by a bear that is mysteriously locked inside its castle and has not died of starvation yet. Welcome to Daggerfall, everybody. Um, right, where can I go at the moment? Ah, there's a stairway leading up to a level we've not explored before. Yeah, there's a big gap here between the top bits and these bits. So we want to go to the end of the corridor, then right, and then right again. Lots of torture chambers down here. It's a serious torture dungeon. Uh-oh. Ah, there's the wand. I almost bloody missed it. Holy crap. Yeah. There you go, this is Churden's Wand, which was just guarded by a rat in a random torture chamber. Daggerfall has no sense of occasion whatsoever. Oh, hello, spider in the pit. Not really interested in you, matey. <laughs> I do love that Skeleton Warriors, even though I'm ridiculously OP now, Skeleton Warriors still providing me a bit of a challenge. Okay, I'm going to go down now. I've... I see, I've gone in a circle. I actually meant to go up, not down. I misread the map completely. Ugh. We found the wand, Dark Arisen Knight. Uh, we were on a quest to find a magic wand for the Rangers Guild, and I found it. So, uh, great success. Uh, we leveled up, so... We could probably go have a chat with Prince Lotun next time. For now, though... Uh, ah, there you are, you little bastard. Uh, I didn't mean to float out quite that far, if I'm honest. The knight just is now dead, thank goodness. Although, I don't think it was you that was shooting at me out here. I think there was someone else. I had a bow and arrow, and you didn't look like you had a bow and arrow. But maybe I'm mistaken. I guess I am. All right. Need to be level five for his quest to trigger. Ah. Oh. 
That's unfortunate. Have I seen Red God? Yes. Yes, I've seen fucking Red God. I've seen everything Elder Scrolls related. I've seen flipping Shadow Key, all right? I can't avoid it. I am typecast as an Elder Scrolls YouTuber. I get to, I get people PMing me this stuff every day for, for the last 10 years. Um, okay. Mages Guild, he's up there. Elder Scrolls lunchboxes, Elder Scrolls action figures. To think, back in the day, us YouTubers were worried about being typecast as Minecraft YouTubers. That was the thing. The advice was always, don't, don't do any Minecraft, because people will then start expecting nothing but Minecraft for you. What we didn't realize... Ah. The cartographers have finally gotten back to me. Excellent. All right. What we didn't realize is that uh, it was going to be exactly the same case, but with Elder Scrolls within a few years. Oh my god. Okay, many letters. Better read some of them. Cartographers, we've needed your services. We must chart the distance from the crypts of Clearadar to Asakera. I can mark its approximate location on your map if you meet me here. Uh, we need this done in 35 days. Slistha, Explorer Field Officer, the Cartographer's Isikada Sentinel. All right, and oh, this is from the Queen of Daggerfall again. Tim, I need your assistance once more. Your valour and discretion were invaluable when last you served me in a matter with Nulfaga. Please meet with me at the Castle Daggerfall when you next pass through. Cartographers are not the same as the Archaeologist Guild. Really? So where are the cartographers from? Are they added by the quest pack or something? This entire time I thought I was... Oh god, the cartographers have a look from the quest pack, really. For heaven's sake. <laughs> watching. Oh dear. Alright, Todd Howard76 has subscribed, thanks to Dean. Ah, uh, there was me thinking the cartographers and the uh, archaeologists were the same people. <sighs> Alright, well, the more you know, I suppose. First, once I hand this in, we'll go find an archaeology guild. The other thing I'm conscious of is there might be a time limit on Queen Albuquerque's letter, because um, the game, I think, does that sometimes. It sometimes gives you a time limit for quests without actually telling you, because it's a git. Hello, Talelin. Who are you? Oh, good heavens. I remember now. Sheridan's Wand, of course. And uh, here it is. Well, as it happens, while you were gone, I had quite a breakthrough in my research. You see, it wasn't the azimuth effects at all. The key to the whole problem is actually... Uh, well, the point is I no longer need the wand. It's a beautiful piece of work, though, isn't it? Uh, why don't you keep it, since you went to all the trouble to find it for me? Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to work. You've now received uh, the, a magical version of the wand. Which does something. We don't know what. We need to get it identified. Right, where is the identified person? It's not you, but I will have some training. In. Destruction. No, I don't want to make a spell. Although I probably should at some point. Is it you? Yes, it's you! I don't find this wand for me, please. Wand of Friendship. Cast when held. Charisma. 
Okay. She just winked at me. All right, the guy who sells spells is in this tiny room here, isn't he? Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's a different tiny room. Or uh, Oh, hello. Ah, uh, this guy makes magic items, yes. Where's... No, where, where is the dude? Where is the dude? That's the roof. You are Mr. Danger Summoning Man. You are Teleportation Man. When I actually have some more higher rank, of course you would be anyway. Get a permanent boost of personality. A permanent boost? Are you sure? I'm trying to find the spell man here at the moment. Actually. Oh. Because I want to see what charisma actually does as a spell. Where is the spell seller? Where is he? There you are. Charisma. Increases the target's personality. Will gain 1 to 10 points of personality plus 3 to 4 points for every 1 levels of the caster. Increase lasts 5 rounds plus 1 round for every level of the caster. Yeah, it's just 4 to 5 personality, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think it's a permanent increase. So long as the one is equipped. No, I think it just casts charisma. All right, look, look. You, oh. Maybe you're right. Uh, button I'm looking for is this. Item power. Oh, it's cast when held. Right. Okay. Sorry. So I can probably equip it over here somewhere, I am guessing. Uh, I don't appear to be able to equip it at all. It's annoying. Ones are weird. Yeah, clearly. I guess just as long as it's in my inventory then? No, I've already tried using it. It's not on here. Unless you mean use it via this. <laughs> With your personality 50, you are considered interesting. I'd say he's pretty darn interesting. No, I have a, I have a personality of fifty normally, so it hasn't increased in, in blue let in blue numbers as well. Anyway, wands can't be equipped, therefore the enchantment is useless. You, yeah, that that's yeah. I was about to say that seemed that sounds very daggerful to me. Well, hopefully I can sell it to someone for a big pile of cash, at least. If I'd gotten a ring, I could equip it, yeah. <sighs> Mage's Guild, man. Mage's Guild. Right. Hello, Nerdin. You look a lot like that other guy in that other tavern that is identical to this one. After a long session of haggling for one room, four, four gold pieces. Apparently. No, no, we need to rest for longer than that. Eight hours. What? 
Who dares? Another werewolf hunter in it. God. I wake up. No, no, no. He's either a werewolf hunter or a bloody Dark Brotherhood assassin. One of the two. Can't use the console commands and change it to a ring? I, I have no idea, dude. And even if... Even if I could, I, I don't think I would, because that's, that's, that's just cheating. Right, here we go, this way. Oh, it's... Wow, it's much earlier than I thought it would be. Uh, okay. Really? It's getting out of hand! Now there are three of them! Nev. Hello, Nev. Could you possibly tell me? The Order of the Candle? No, um... Regional. No, okay. I want to know where the local archaeology guild is. I guess there isn't one in Sentinel, which is a bit bonkers, honestly. <laughs> ah, lift to General Store, I love that. Yeah, it does look quite nice with Unity and some mods, actually. Hello, Tarka. Stop staring at me, mate. It's weird. Just enjoying the sunrise, okay? Yeah, it's a curse in this game, isn't it, I think. Although, if you ask me, it's more of a blessing. His guild halls are found in smaller towns throughout the Atlantic Bay, rather than the more expensive invisible cities. Yeah. I see. Well, let's, let's go do this cartographer's thing, then, I suppose. Also speak to her in Issaquera for instructions. Issaquera. There is more of a skill guy. Well, I mean, you know. Thing is, the inhabitants of the Yellow Bay are remarkably tolerant of werewolves, with the exception of these dickhead werewolf hunters. I can wander into an inn and, and order a room while in werewolf form, and nobody cares. It's quite wonderful. <sighs> the Savage Dagger. Right, is the person I'm looking for here? They're not, are they? A couple of guilds in town, actually. Let's check and see if one of them is an archaeologist guild. 
Oh, no, that, that looks like a fighter's guild to me. That looks like it's probably a temple, but I suppose we can check. Hey, Dave, how's North Africa? Rainy right now, apparently. No, no, it's a temple. It is a temple of the School of Julianos. Could do a Fighters Guild quest, I suppose. Although I really should probably do this one first. After my fur, they want to turn me into a rug. Probably reject you because I don't have language skills. I do have Giantish and Daedric. They're not terrifically high, but I do have Giantish and Daedric. So. Who, am I, who the hell am I looking for? Slister. None of you are Slister. She's around here in the Crimson Mug, apparently. She must be in a room somewhere. Hello? H Hello? Oh, madam. You're not Slister, are you? No, you're, you're someone else completely. Sorry! Poor woman was halfway through getting dressed. That was weird. This damn person. There you are. Tim, how good it is to see you. We have another simple task on our hands, it seems. We will pay you, as we always do. Be patient with us, and we'll get you moving to, into more exotic locales. As I mentioned, the crypts of Clearadar is a place we've neglected. Though with a capital H, apparently. Is a place we've neglected for more time than we should have. I'll show its approximate location on your map. We need you to provide us precise coordinates and traveling distance. Meet me here once you've charted it. The Crypts of Cleardar. Hello, Venator. You did miss the pixel titties. You did. Crypts of Cleardar. It's another itty bitty teeny tiny mini dungeon this one isn't it it's a crypt literally it's not even a dungeon it's just a crypt whenever you finish loading the terrain game thank you this is the cemetery yep yeah. smell freshly buried dead what does that smell? Do I want to know what that smells like? Probably not. Just a little bit dark. Chicken. <laughs> Don't mind if I help myself. Oh, holy time, excellent. Those are worth lots of money. Loads of money. Oh, hello. Some grave robbers, like myself. Oh, 
All right. What have we been going for? Uh, let's see. Start. We started at three o'clock. So, brain, come on, you can do this. Three, four, five, six, seven. We're nearly three and a half hours. Sorry, folks. I am whatever the diversion of dyslexia is, but with numbers. That's me. I had to reset my. I think it was my yeah my GCSE maths when I was twenty, I think. I remember I had to go to an exam hall We're that was full of school kids, and then there's me sat there also doing my GCSE maths. I managed to get a grade B on what was apparently an incredibly tough exam that year. So I was quite pleased with myself, but fucking hell did it require a lot of work. I had to get a personal tutor and everything. Yeah, you know, a private tutor. It was it was rough. Yeah, number dyslexia is an actual thing. I just can't remember what it's called, ironically. We got the name of the town we need to go back to now. It's Akira, that was it. Discalculator, is that it? Um, yeah. I honestly suspect. No, no, I've never bothered to have it diagnosed. But I wouldn't surprise me if I suffer from dis discalcula. <laughs> Slideshow of battle, that was. Is it, are these guys going to eventually stop? Like, and I also, I also can't tell if they're Dark Brotherhood or if they're Werewolf Hunters at this point. Might be both, and that's why they're appearing so frequently. Discalcula is a dungeon in this game. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> Crimson Mug, here we go. Up here to the end of the hall. Hello. Okay. Continue on recruit, we'll have more to offer you in the future. You keep telling me this. You keep telling me to be patient, we have more to offer in the future. You keep saying that. I think I'm being strung along, if I'm honest. This camel is about as impressed with me as I am with the cartographer of the guild right now. Why the Dark Brotherhood after me? Because as a werewolf, I do occasionally have to murder innocents. And I say innocents, I mean rude townsfolk, mostly. <laughs> if, if, if townspeople are... If, if I get the message at the top of the screen when you feel the need to hunt innocents and one of the townspeople is pretty rude to me in a conversation... They dead. They getting eaten by me in werewolf form. Um, uh, but as a result of killing random innocent people, um, I got con contacted by the Dark Brother and they said, you need to join us or we'll kill you. And uh, I'm a good boy. I'm a good doggo, so I'm not joining the Dark Brotherhood. Even though I'm tempted to... Just to see what it's like, because I don't think I've ever played Join the Dark Brotherhood in Nagavall before. I, I, I'd i probably not missing out on much, if I'm honest. Eat the rude. <laughs> right, Fighters Guild's over there. We've got another 20 minutes or so. Let's go see if the Fighters Guild have got something quick and easy to do.
Loiter. There we go. Doshta. I'm a loyal member of the Fighters Guild. Honored, sir. What is your wish? Guilds? Regional? Any... Eh. Archaeology Guild would be nice, but... Never mind. Lahirid. Congratulations, Tim! Because of your outstanding weaponry prowess, we have promoted you to the rank of Protector in the Guild. Among other benefits, this increase means cheaper weapon repair and more profitable work assignments. Aha! Such as, there's a group of criminals in town who've absconded with some pretty important evidence. Someone needs to go in quick and wipe them out before they do some irreversible damage. Feeling like moving fast today? Sure. These thugs are trapped in a building in town, trying to barter their freedom with this little piece of paper they've stolen. They said they'll burn it if someone tries to get in. I don't think they'll do anything risky if they just see someone, but once you start the fight, you better finish it fast. One of them has to have it. Bring the paper back here, and I'll have a reward for you. Oh, almost forgot. The Crimson Mug. What? I was just there! Good grief! I was wanted to get some training from her, but we better go right away. I hold silver away. Hey. <laughs> Where are these thugs? You don't look like thugs. I bet they spawned in the top room. I bet that's the quest object location. Yep. The thug yells up some code words and others come out of hiding. You smell something, something burning but don't know where it's coming from. Ah! No, you don't have it! You! Quickly rummage through your foes' items and find the burning parchment. Slapping it the fire out, you store it as safely as you can. Phew! It's totally under control. Nothing to worry about. I know it's very odd or it works. I don't don't understand it, but hey, whatever. Hello, dead be iced. How do you? Good enough, trust me. If they sent in the guards to do this, all they'd find is a bunch of warm ashes. The Queen is right to ask us this, even if I dislike saying it. Oh, that's a big pot of gold. Very nice. Very nice. What else do you got for me? Every once in a while we get an idiot like this client. Some fool left his back door open and a wild animal got in. He seems rather confused as to whether it's a bear or a tiger, but in either case it wanted to eat him. We need you to go and slay the animal. Your standard fee is a thousand gold! Yes! Go to the Kingston residence in Atrilla One. I'll give you 24 days to kill it and get it. 24 days? <laughs> this guy's just gonna, like, live with a bear or tiger in his house for 24 days if I don't turn up. <laughs> what madness. Alright, we want to go to At Atrilla One. Atrilla One. Kingston residence. Hello, Ezra. Keep bashing a bunch of random bits into a demon prince for your night lords. That sounds very chaosy. Keep bashing random things into a demon. 
I do like your Night Lords, actually. They're very cool. You've done some really cool conversions for them. Right, the Kingston Residence. I'm going for a swim, apparently. The Dead Griffin. What a wonderful name for an inn. No, no, We're no, no. You. No! Scum. Don't want to. I just want to talk to you. Let us, Boltzmann. Thank you very much for nine months of subbage. I'm sorry, you have 30 cats. Or are you, just, are you just talking about the dude in this quest? He, like, Paul Griffin. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for... General? The Kingston Residence. I should keep saying southeast. Fine. Oh god, not that way. Nah, we're gonna have to rest here for the night. Oh, don't do that. Not to. You've paid for the room. Goodness sake, not again. I mean, it is free money, I suppose. Like, that's the flip side of this. There are these walking bags of money that come to me. I don't even have to go to them. Although, with a bit less frequency, would be nice. See, I bet you anything, one of these was a werewolf hunter and the other one was an assassin. <laughs> For whatever reason, I've never bothered to get the map open when in a tavern. Until today. I didn't even know you could. Right. Oh, we overslept a little bit. It's the afternoon now. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. And the werewolf hunters announced and says, well, the first one did. But, uh, so maybe they're all just Dark Brotherhood assassins. Maybe we should consider joining them just to get them to stop trying to kill us. I don't know. What did the letter say? You must now join us or be counted as our foe. Doesn't seem to be a time limit on it, but... Dark Breath would work against almost all the other guilds. Yeah. I didn't really want to join the Dark Brotherhood, but, uh... On the other hand, it is getting a bit irritating. Right, I need to find a random person to talk to, because I need to find out where the hell this house is. You there. You're lucky I'm not feeling in hungry werewolf mode right now, you asshole. Thank you. Kingston residents, that away. I am traveling Lucy in the chance, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> that was in the um, 
the Sally Oblivion playthrough, the Knights of the Nine Revelations one, which you can find on my old, now defunct YouTube channel, which has all my had all my old Twitch vods on. It's called Sorcerer Dave Live, if you wish to look it up. But there is an entire live streamed Oblivion Let's Play on there. There's Sally the Divine Crusader. <laughs> the tiger didn't even have a chance to react. <laughs> I just went straight in and bogged it in the face. <laughs> oh, poor tiger. <laughs> oh dear. That tickled me, that did, right? <laughs> Uh. Right, we want to go back to Isquera, don't we? Yeah. Hand this in, and then I think I'm going to end the stream a little bit earlier than normal. But I don't think we have time at the moment for another entire dungeon. And honestly, the next step of the game seems to be go back to Dav Daggerfall and talk to Queen Albki. Um, and we don't have enough time left in the stream today to actually do that. So, alas, my friends. Oh yeah, easy, easy money that actually, wasn't it? Yeah, we're getting paid like a grand for this, aren't we? I forgot. Curse you fighters guilt. There. Mounted combat, everyone! No great difficulties, I trust. Thought not. Here's your 1,000 odd gold. Thank you very much. Hey, I just remembered. One of the members just found this map to the hold of Degtho Degtom. Don't kill everything in one day. Hold of Degtom. Now, you. Training, please. Yes. Uh, training in. Uh, blunt weapon. Oh, I'm already more skilled than you. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, in that case. How about training in running? Yeah, we practice running for three hours. Jolly good. Right. Save any game. Seven. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are done. Thank you very much for tuning in, for watching. Those of you on YouTube, I appreciate you watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been ludicrously popular, this series, both on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, quite amazingly. I just don't get it, honestly, but <laughs> I'm glad you're all enjoying it. And to tell you the truth, even though I expected the game to drive me mad, it actually kind of hasn't so far. I've actually been quite enjoying myself so far. It's been, it's been good. It's been good. Uh, the Unity version with all the mods and the tweaks has really made the game much more uh, palatable to my more modern sensibilities these days, um, which is good. Much is so much better than old DOS Daggerfall. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. I'm glad I didn't have to play through DOS Daggerfall. I'll just say that much. I think Werewolf probably helps. Yeah, admittedly, having like 100 and a bunch of stats this early is, is definitely putting the game on easy mode now, which is nice. 
And we're playing on very high reflexes as well, so we are advancing level quite quickly too, so that's good. So, cheers, my dears. Um, I will be back again with more populous at some point with some Dominions 5, which I keep promising. And uh, more painting streams as well. My new painting stream show thing called Watching Paint Dry. Um, that will be back at some point. Um, do I want to do this? Oh, I could. Sometimes I do two streams in a day at the minute because I do a regular stream like this in the afternoon into early evening and then I do a painting stream later at like nine o'clock. Trying to think, do I want to do that today? Um, 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 painting stream, good. <laughs> Tilly says, yes, please. She wants my thumbs for some reason. <laughs> All right, I'll see. No promises. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I, I, I kind of, I do have other things I need to do, you see. Like those two other projects I mentioned, for example. Um, but sure, maybe I will pop back on later. If I do, well, keep an eye out on your notifications, I guess. Heavy breathing, paint. Um, yeah. Only thumbs, yes. <laughs> it's up to my only thumbs. Right. Okay, I might be back later then in that case. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, cheers. Thanks for watching. The rest of you, I'm going to pawn you off on someone else for now. I'm going to see who else is streaming. Who else is streaming? <sighs> Lily is playing some Stardew Valley. I like Stardew Valley. Yeah, I'm going to send you to Lilia. Raid. Start raid. There we go. Jump on over there. Say hello. Lily is a lovely streamer. I think you'll like her. Um... I've been watching it for ages now. Cheers, everybody. I'll see you possibly later. Um, and if not, I'll see you within the next few coming days, etc. Cheers.